Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I'm Robin Firth, and this is Appalachian Survival. So to build a shelter, you gotta find the perfect location for one. Usually, what you want is a tree that you can lean stuff up against. Because what we're gonna be making is a lean-to. I think I see the perfect place. This looks like a good campsite to me. So first you're going to want to put in your two Y pieces. Right there. And right there. That's what's going to hold up the roof of your lean-to. Then you put on your main support for the roofing pieces and your three main roof joints. Long story short, it collapsed. Now we're going to try a teepee shelter. And there you have it. Perfect shelter. Warm and safe. When building a fire, you always want to have a nice flat area. Now I'm going to use this piece of bark because it will allow me to keep the fire off of the wet ground. First, you need to gather your tinder bundle. It needs to be dry, soft wood, like this. Now you need to gather some smaller twigs and things like this. I'll be using a Swiss Army knife and the magnesium sparker to start this fire. So you build a little teepee, just like that. Now the way that a magnesium sparker works is it has this sparker on top and this piece of magnesium. So what you do is you shave magnesium off onto the fire and then you use the sparker. Holy sh And that's how the magnesium sparker works. So now I'm just going to add a little kindling to our roaring fire to help it get going. Kind of, you know, blow on it a little bit. As you can see, blowing on a fire is highly effective. Catching food can be quite an issue, which is why you should always have a survival animal trap. Setting it is very easy. And then, once set, you simply leave it on a game trail like this and wait for some unsuspecting animal to come by and trip the trap. Easy as that. Now we haven't caught anything, but the trap is still set. And you must always remember to be careful around your animal traps because they can hurt you. <laughs> See those? Those are fish, a valuable survival resource. But catching them is a whole nother matter. All you need to make a good fishing lure is a paper clip bent like this and a rock. So you're going to want to 
kind of bend it into a into a hook shape like this and then and then kind of try to sharpen it out with the rock and there you have it a fishing lure I understand that some people don't like to partake in the killing of animals so I'm going to show you a few edible plants and a few poisonous plants here is the skunk cabbage it's poisonous here's the daffodil it's poisonous I don't even know what that is this is a blackberry bush but it's not time for blackberries quite yet this is a wild onion you can eat this but it's totally gross So it sounds like our trap worked. I think I can hear the animal struggling on the trap. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Here we have it. A delicious, delicious. Power Bar Performance Energy. Trapped like an animal. As you can see, the trap swiftly broke the Power Bar's spine, giving it a very quick, clean death. And now we can eat it. Sometimes, when you're in a survival situation and you can't find water, it's actually preferable to drink your own pee. I have some right here from the night before, and boy, does it look good. Now, okay.